Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives, still on Industrial Electronics N1, uh, the question paper which was written in June uh, 2022. So we are going to uh, focus on question number four now, where we are uh, so that we can see how the questions were being asked there. So we're not going to waste much time. Uh, the first part of the question was uh, various options are given as possible answers to the following questions. Choose the correct, uh, choose the answer and write only the letter A to D next to the question number 4.11 up to 4.12 in the answer book. Okay, 4.11 we are given that a transformer is got four, uh, is primary coil of 100 tens and a secondary coil of 300 tens. If the primary voltage is 20 volts, the secondary voltage will be all right, so uh, there we definitely need to do some calculations here because remember we are given the primary coil, we've got our NP of 100 tens and also the secondary coil of uh, 300 tens. Uh, the primary voltage that is our VP of uh, 20 volts. Now we are asked to calculate the secondary voltage, okay. We understand that uh, NP, that is the tense ratio over NS is equal to VP over VS. So there we can just make substitution because NP is there as 20. So that's 20 over NS. Sorry, our NP is the number of coil. Our NP, 100. NS, which is 300, is equal to VP, which is 20 over Vs. So to find Vs, definitely here we need to cross multiply. That will be 100 times Vs, which is 100 Vs is equal to 300 times 20. You can just even use your calculator here, 300 times 20, which is 6,000. So you're going to obtain 6,000 uh, divide by 100 both sides, by 100 both sides. So that means your VS is going to be 60. So we are going to obtain 60 volts. All right, and uh, 60 volts is on C. So 4.11, the answer here was going to be a C. All right, let's see the other part of the question, which is 4.12. You are also given that if V, if 240 volts is to be changed to 12 volts, and the transformer is 200. So it's back on transformers again using the same concept or the same principle. So we are given that 240 volts is to be changed. That is your V1. So your V1 is 240 volts is to be changed to 12 volts. That is our V2, which is the VS, the secondary voltage of 12 volts uh, transformer. And the transformer has got 200 turns in the primary it should have how many tens on the secondary. So you're given the primary number of tens, which is uh, NP as 2000. What do we have on the secondary tens? Okay, so just like the previous part, that is what you're going to do in this case. NP over NS, which is the tens ratio is equal to VP over VS. So this is going to be VP over VS. So we can substitute NP being 2000 tens over NS, the one that we do not know is equal to VP, that is the primary voltage of 240 over 12. So we can find NS, we can cross multiply, just like the previous part that we had. So this is going to be 2000 times 12, all right? So let's see what we have from our calculator, 2000 uh, times 12, that is 24,000. So this is going to be 24,000, all right? So that's 24, let me remove this. 24,000 is equivalent to NS times 240, which is 240 NS. So to find NS, you just divide by 240 here, by 240 here. So on the answer that we had, just divide by 240, you are going to obtain 100. So that means NS, in this case is going to be 100 tens. All right, so as you saw that this canceled and canceled to main with NS. So that's 100. Where do we have 100? 100, we have it on A. So our answer in this case was going to be A. That is what we are going to have on 4.12. So there was four marks for transformers. All right, so 4.2. 
that is where we are now on four point draw a neat label diagram for each of the following waveforms. So these are waveforms. You are not uh, doing anything. You're just indicating or showing what a DC waveform is like on 4.21 a DC. Remember DC is just a straight line waveform. Okay, so let me just show you what do we have here. So this is your DC. Uh, we just show any voltage here. You can show 1.5, you can show any voltage, but it's a, just a straight line, positive and negative. So it will be positive. Remember the voltage is transfer a current flows when it is on the positive. So that is the indication of a DC. All right, we move on to the 4.22, which is a sine wave. So a sine wave, you must know it by this shape. All right, so that is your sine wave. Uh, from uh, the presentation, we can just name from 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, and so on and so on and so on and so on. And so, on. so that is what we have. So this is the time which is measured in seconds. And this is your amplitude in terms of the voltage. So it can be voltage or it can be current whereby we've got the maximum and the minimum values. So it changes from positive to negative. That is the most important part. So we are given one mark for the curve, the correct axis labels and the correctness of the graph. You can actually obtain the full marks. All right, then the square wave, this one is supposed to be shown in terms of squares, just like a sine wave, but this time in terms of squares. So that's what you're going to have. Just like sine wave, this is your time in seconds, the amplitude, and uh, we've got positive cycle and the negative cycle. So that's what we had there. All right, on 4.3, we are now given name three factors that determine the strength of the magnetism produced by the, a coil during, uh, okay, through which a current is flowing. Okay, what are the three factors which determine the strength of magnetism? So. What are these factors? Name three, just name three. Why is it like I'm seeing something, okay, produced? Okay, so the question was just for name uh, the factors which affects, okay? So for the factors which we, we uh, affects there, that is uh, the number of turns of the wire. So we can actually work with the number of turns of the wire, the current flowing through the coil, the kind of material or the type of the core material that you are using, that is the kind or the type, the ratio of the coil length uh, to its diameter. So any three there, because you asked to name three and each is given two marks, just to name one is two marks. That is why we are having a total of six marks. So that's what we had uh, from this person. As you can see, it was uh, clearly there, uh, easier, but you just have to revise as much as you can so that you'd be able to obtain the full marks uh, from this typical question. So that's what we had guys for Maison African Motives still on industrial, electronics and one working on past exam papers, revisions, so that we understand what the department uh, actually needs from us and how are we supposed to answer those uh, typical questions in any future exam. So that's it, uh, guys, for Maison African Motives, till we meet again.